Hi, today we're going to look at uh, more Inventor Basics. So we want to go in this time, we want to start a new sketch. We're going to create a, a bottle this time, a shampoo bottle. So we'll click Standard IPT and Create. So now once we get into our drawing, we're going to go to Start 2D Sketch. And we want to select the... Um, The YZ plane. So we select the YZ plane and now we're in our sketch where we can sketch now. So we want to go to our ellipse that would be on a circle ellipse. And so I'll make a center point here, put a point about there, and we can add another point, a third point here. Now on the ribbon, we want to next click our sketch dimension, constrained dimension. And then we're going to select the, the ellipse and move downward here. And we want to make this dimension 0.984. Go to our full view. And then on this one, we want to do another dimension. We're already there, so we're good. So we'll select it and go with this dimension as 1.968. So just follow along. We're going to take this one slow. It's going to cover a lot of stuff here. And so we want to go and zoom everything into the picture. And now we have the ellipse, and this is going to be the base, so we're going, to, we're going to now click Finish Sketch. So now we have clicked our Finish Sketch, so now we want to click 3D Model Sketch 2D again from the ribbon. And this time we want to select the YZ plane, which is this one. Let's try that again. There we go. Must have pushed the wrong button somewhere. But anyway, now um, we want to create a spline by interpolation here. It would be under the line. So we go with spline by interpolation. So we can just zoom this out a bit here. And let's just go and place a spline here. So we're going to go with, I think, CSA one about here. Two, three, four, five. This is five. I'm going to go right here about, this is about the shape of a bottle. And we go with another point here, and we'll go finish. So there's our spline. And now we want to right click here. We want to create a line in the marking menu. And then we want to go on the ribbon and we want to click sketch format construction, this guy here. And then we want to start at the origin point and draw a line all the way up to about here. So this is going to be like our construction line, and we want to constrain that as vertical. Now, here we want to go back into our dimension. And we want to select this point and this point here. And we want to make a dimension here. This is going to be 1.29.
two things there. We'll make another point dimension here from this uh, construction line here. We'll make that one um, 2.362. Don't worry about the shape. It's going to come together eventually. This one will be 2.165. So we're making dimensions for each one of these points. 1.5, so 1.575 here. This would be 0.984. This one would be 0.984. We'll make this one 0.787. Now we need to dimension these heights. So what we'll do is we'll select the origin point here and this point here. And this will be, it'll start taking shape now. This will be 0 0.858, 8.58. And this next one, will be 7.8. Six seven seven. We we'll go to the next point, which is this one from here to here. Six point one oh two. Take this guy here to here. Four point nine two one. Okay. As you can see, it's taking shape with the heights. We bring in the heights. I think maybe we should have made it a little longer, but it'll come together. Okay, this one will be, let's see, three point seven four zero. We got two more, and this one will be from this point to the point here. We'll make this one 0. Okay, this one should be 2.362. Okay, now there we have our profile. So now we want to um, go into sketch and look at our mirror. There's our mirror. And then uh, we want to select the spline. We want to select the spline. Make sure you select the spline. And then we want to click here where it says mirror line, and then we'll select our reference line. Click apply and done.
Okay, so there's our, and we want to finish this sketch. And we'll make it, okay. So let me drag those dimensions so far out. Okay, now, um, now we want to create a second section here for this. Now we want to click the 3D model, work features plane offset from plane. So we go from here, 3D model, we're in, and we'll go down to where we have planes, and we'll select offset from plane. And then we'll go over here in our browser, and we'll select XZ plane. And now once we select X, oh, see, XZ plane, there we go. And we select XZ plane, and we want to give that that height. So let's go with that 8.858. Eight. And click OK. So there's our. Now we want to um, select on the ribbon and start a 2D sketch. And then you want to select our new data plane here. Now um, we want to right click once we get in here and we want to go create center point circle. So we go in and create center point circle and that's just. Um, Create a circle okay and then you want to right click okay let's see this is general dimension here select it. And let's put this dimension out here and let's call this 1.574. Okay. Now we want to say let's finish the sketch. Okay, now we want to look at uh, creating a loft to give us the shape of the of our bottle here. So to create a loft, we want to click on 3D Sketch, Create Loft, this guy right here. And we want to make sure we have a rail selected. And then here, what we do is, we want to click Add Sections. We want to click to Add here. So to add a section, we want to click and then we'll select this guy and this guy. And you want to add rails. We'll select this line and this line. And then we'll click OK. And there's our bottle. So now let's create another extruded, extruded feature for this. So. Uh, We want to right click on this guy here. And we'll say new sketch. And then we're going to right click again. And we want to go center point circle. Let me go general dimensions. And this will be 1.547. I'm sorry, 1.574, and click OK. And then we'll go with our finished sketch. And then we'll select our extrude and select that piece. And it's already at one, or you can make whatever height you want. And we'll say OK.
Now let's create an emboss feature on this guy. So um, we want to click our 3D model work features. Okay. And then we go up plane. We're going to select offset from plane. And then we want to set the YZ plane. And here we want to enter the number two for two inches. And click OK. Now from this point, <clears throat> we want to go, we want to select this new datum here. So we want to go and click another 2D sketch. And then we want to select this datum. Let's make this full view. And we want to Now here we want to um, create another ellipse. So here we'll go into our ellipse. And again, we'll just draw a line, I would say, from, this might be a little tricky, go from here, oh, escape. Let's do that again. We want to go from the center point. So we'll take a line from this center. I will say from here to there. And about right there. Now, we want to go on the uh, sketch constraint dimension. Sketch constraint dimension here. And you want to select the ellipse and take the dimension downward. And let's say two right here. Okay, now we'll take, we'll select the dimension again. And we'll move this to the left. get that dimension and we'll call that 1.35 okay now let's take another dimension from the center point okay I'm missing a point here I'm missing my reference line here uh, there's the center point and we want to take this one down to, I'm going to say 2.55 about. And we're going to click finish. Okay, that looks good. So now, um, okay, so now we're going to click okay to finish this sketch here. Now we want to um, create emboss on the ribbon. So let's go to this command here. And we'll select this point. And we'll make this, this size 1.25, 1 Assess the depth, and there we go. So now we want to mirror this guy here so we can have it on the other side. So let's go into our 3D model uh, pattern, and we have mirror. 
So we'll select our feature here. Okay, now we'll click Okay, now if we want to mirror plane and we want to mirror it on the YZ plane here. And we'll click OK. So what that did was, yes, it mirrored it to the other side. So now this um, create some fillets here. So let's go into our fillet command. So let's click on fillet. And let's select the now let's set our dimension here because we want to make this fillet around this edge. Let's make this point two. And We'll select this. There's one selected now. Then we'll add another. And we'll make these for the bottom 0.04. And we'll select this one. Should be I should be able to pick that other one up. And we'll click apply. And that's done. We should be out of this command. Let's click apply. Let's cancel that. So there we have our fillets and there's our bottle. So let's kick this a little further, folks. And let's add a opening a shell. So let's look at the shell and an and, and inventor. So to do a shell, we'll just click the top here. So we'll go to 3D model shell. The dialog box will open up, and uh, we want to set the thickness at 0.03. Oops. I'm sorry. There you go. 0.03. I'm gonna select that. And there's our opening. So hey guys, thank you for watching this quick little video on how to do a bottle in Inventor. Uh, we'll take this on a little farther in the next exercise, look at things like threads and that view. But anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. And if you have any comments, please put it in the comment section. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again and see you next time. Be safe, everybody. Please be safe.